Tractor Pro 4 includes flexible beat grids that will help you sync any track that has changing tempos into your DJ set. This feature lets you add as many additional grid markers as needed to capture different tempo zones of your tracks. For this example, I have a track with a few different tempo changes. You can see I've already set a couple hot cues, and on each one of these hot cues is where the tempo actually does the change. So let's just check that out. we slow down right here. And we speed back up here. Now let's define our flexible B grid. And to do that, I'm going to go to my first hot cue here. Let's go over to the grid. And I'm going to zoom in on this waveform. Now what I'm going to do is set a grid marker by clicking this right here. And Tractor has already analyzed this at 137 when I originally did the analyzing. And 137 is the general tempo of those fast parts of the track. So now that I've set my first grid marker, we can zoom out a little bit and just see where these align. They look pretty good. So now let's go to our next section where it slows down. Now on this part, you can see obviously those grid markers don't line up with the beats. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and set another grid marker. And now let's go to our next tempo change, which is down here. I'm gonna click on my hot cue and set another grid marker. Now basically what we've done here is created a few different tempo zones. So this is our first zone with our main faster tempo. Then we get to this section, which is our second zone with the slower tempo, and then so on and so on with the next tempo changes, which are down here. So let's go ahead and use this left arrow to get back to our first grid marker. Again, all these look pretty good. We're at 137 BPM and they, they line up pretty well here. You can see that. And if you want to actually double check, what you can do is click this little headphone icon and listen to the metronome while it plays against the grid markers. Let's see what that sounds like. And that sounds pretty good. To set the tempo of our next zone, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're within that zone. So I'm gonna click a little down here. And there's a few different ways you can do this. You can actually drag the BPM up or down. You can start to see those grid lines change. Or you can use the coarse or fine adjustment arrows on this side and slowly shift it. Again, you just wanna get it close and you can make fine adjustments later by zooming in and making those changes here. So we can do a little bit of a fine adjustment like that. Now let's see what that sounds like with the metronome on. And then now we're going to be going back to our 137 in our next tempo zone. If you have a track that has multiple tempo ranges throughout, you're going to want to go and set these different grid lines and make those tempo adjustments all the way through your track. What I'm going to do now is I have a track over on deck A that we're going to set as our master and we're going to sync deck B to deck A. I have a little hi-hat loop. Let's see what this sounds like. And let's bring in deck B synced. Tempo change. See how it kept that slower part at the same tempo as deck A. You can also do the opposite. So let's make deck B our master and let's sync deck A to deck B. And you'll see how the tempo of deck A changes with deck B. Change to 119. Now it's going to go back up to 137. It's 
stays perfectly in time. You can use Tractor's time-based effects such as the delays or the gator, as well as the pattern player, and it'll sync perfectly aligned with flexible beat grids. Let's check that out. To do this, I'm gonna turn sync off. We're gonna turn effect slot two on, and let's hit play. You're gonna hear how this sounds. Turn it on. Watch what happens when it goes to the slower tempo. Let's turn on the pattern player. Force stretches out to the moon. 